Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So last night, Global got a new data download, and in today's video, we're gonna check out exactly what's going on together. Now, as always, before we jump into it, I wanna give a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. So if you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And uh, with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here. And as you guys will see, this wasn't a very big data download. Essentially, what we got was the translated assets for the STR Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta Extreme Z Awakening. These are all of his EZA medals, along with the Extreme Z Awakening for the STR Super Saiyan Goku. Or sorry, no, uh, this is the AGL Super Saiyan Goku. And lastly, the translated Peton Battle Series 3 pack as well as, I'm assuming, the uh, actual stickers as well. And that is pretty much it, guys. That was the data download from last night. But uh, of course, before we go, I do want to quickly go over the details for these two Extreme Z Awakenings and also the uh, Series 3 pack for Pets on Battle. So let's pop over to the Dokkan Wiki now. And starting with the uh, AGL Super Saiyan Goku before the EZA, his leader skill is AGL, tech, and SDR types, HP and attack, plus 30%, super attack, extreme damage to enemy, that is something I haven't seen in a while, extreme damage. As if all allies keep plus 2, and attack plus 20% when HP is 50% or above. So obviously, um, really trash passive, uh, really trash super attack, really trash leader skill, very much needing of an extreme Z awakening. So with the easy A, his new leader skill is Super Saiyan's category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or AGL tech and SDR types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 40%. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 100%, attack and defense plus 70%, and all allies key plus 3, and attack and defense plus 30% when HP is 50% or more. Defense plus 200% and high chance of guarding all attacks when HP is 49% or less. So essentially a much better supporter, getting a much bigger buff for attack and defense on his passive, and also this crazy defense buff, and uh, also guarding all attacks when below 49% HP, in which case he will be a really good tank. So um, a great extreme Z awakening for this guy, man. I mean, obviously, he was basically useless uh, without the EZA. He was unusable without the EZA. So this is a uh, really good upgrade. Um, not really much else I can say. Let me see if there's any other calculations here. Um, I don't think so. Yeah, as far as the Extreme Z Awakening medals, though, you can get them from the uh, Hero Extermination Plan Extreme Z Area event. It's just a new stage added to that event. So... Um, but there you go, that is the Super Saiyan Goku. Moving on to the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Pre EZA, leader skill is tech, STR, and Fizz types, Q plus 3. Uh, super attack, supreme damage, and passive is attack plus 70% when key is 6 or more. So, also another just terrible passive right there. But of course, with the Extreme Z Awakening, a huge upgrade. Leader skill, tech, STR, and Fizz types, Q plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 80%, super attack, supreme damage, and raises attack for 3 turns. And passive is attack and defense plus 100%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 8% each time key rises by 1, up to 80%. So basically, if you're getting a super attack, a 12 key super, then he will have his full passive. And I believe these are actually calculated separately, so let's see the actual calculation here. So yeah, his additional attack and defense plus 8% per key is calculated separately for a maximum boost of attack and defense plus 260% at 10 key or more. So there you go. Uh, huge, huge attack and defense boost. Of course, his um, stats are not going to be that impressive. Actually, hold on. With the Extreme Z Awakening, 15,073 attack is actually quite good. It's not as good as, you know, a Dokkan Fest unit or anything like that, but 15,000 is still very impressive. Uh, 10,174 defense, not bad at all, and 16,106 HP. So this guy should be hitting pretty hard when fully extremes he awakened. 
um, with a couple dupes. Uh, he should be doing some pretty good stuff. His defense, I'm guessing, will be uh, quite solid as well. So there is the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, guys. Between these two, um, I guess they're different, right? Because the Goku is more geared towards support, but he's still getting a good amount of attack and defense. And this Vegeta is just going to be, um, I mean, kind of basic. Obviously, just a big attack and defense boost, but... 260% is a lot, right? So, uh, good Extreme Z Awakenings for both these guys. And once again, you're getting these medals from the Hero Extermination Plan Extreme Z area, which we will take a quick look at right now. So yeah, it's this event right here, and we're looking at stages uh, 14 and 15. No, sorry. 13 and 14, respectively. And uh, as far as the units you're allowed to bring, uh, this is the full pool, and you do have to have the AGL Wii Stoken Awakened, as well as the Fizz uh, Hachiak Stoken Awakened on your team to run the event. So make sure to get those from the Hero Extermination Plan event. And uh, there you go. That is essentially going to do it for today's video, guys. We got the Peton Battle, we got the uh, Extreme Z Awakenings for the Vegeta and Goku, and we also have the LR... Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2 Extreme Z Awakenings, which according to the Dokkan Wiki is dropping uh, today at the same time, but I'm not 100% sure about that just because we usually have some kind of campaign for free to play LREZ8s, right? So I guess we'll find out more information about that when we get the in game news a little bit later today. But uh, for now, that is your data download update. Once again, a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG. Make sure to go follow him he's on his way to 2,000 followers he definitely deserves it so uh, definitely go do that but for now that is all i gotta say guys thank you so much for watching as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.